it's up here. You get this down here. Hey, MMTs, good Monday as it is. Here is the call option, a 618 $500 call. And in pre-market MMTs, what were my limit orders, Tina, before the market opened? Brian Plain, you got to move back in at 830 right now. We're putting a bottom okay, in. He's trying you got to move in at 830, seat will throw to you. What were the bids? Now, pay the 850. You ain't got no choice. If he ain't throwing 30, there's a 10. Let's see if he'll throw it. It's a 30 cent premium. But once again, the equity is making a bottom. So we're trying to scale it. 810 was our low. That was our bid. They're 830 by 850. Pull it up to 840. And we got to go for it. There's three. Is he going to throw it? It's 20 pennies wide. That's because we're making a bottom. Try 850. If he doesn't come off to you in three minutes, come off and go back on. Work it. There. You can get it at 850. I got 850. Okay. So 850 has been lifted. And the thing about it is, it's another attempted bottom. You've got to learn to trade them when they come your way as a market maker. And you're looking for uh, one teeny, two teeny. You'd like to see at least three teenies off the bottom now on a closing bar. You really want to see that teeny expansion off of that low entry there. Because when that expands off the bottom, the call options go higher. $8 is a low. That's $4.10 below the market. Our bid was eight ten, eight thirty. Then we had some bids that were a little bit higher that we had at a bottom. This bottom over here failed, so we came out right there. And we did the right deal, which gave us the power of taking that 10 penny stop on that option gave us the power to buy at the low of the wholesale market. And once again, it's not much of a bottom. It's somewhat weak. But we have to scale this. And as long as the 50 month moving average, which it did, 504.56. It tested the monthly 50-month moving average, and it tested a 200-week moving average and kind of undercut that 200-week moving average on a standard public indicator. And what we are looking for, MMTs, is to make sure that this monthly moving average that you see on my screen, that's a 50-month moving average. That's a make or break for this stock. And what we look for is strong bounces off the bottoms when they test these things. However, the invert of that, the risk is that if it starts to sell through it, you can get a lot of stock market orders right below it. So there's always high risk at these key monthly moving averages of this magnitude. Of this magnitude. Now, when you take a look in the background here, this is a weekly chart on Google. And what Google has done is it's undercut that 200 week. And that 200 week moving average is at 505.30. And we got to get uh, the, the body of this is going to have to get above it. This is a very psychological number for hedge fund managers and institutional managers at these key levels right here. So the risk remains elevated, but we do these consistently, especially in bull markets, which we're not in at the moment. We're in a reversal. And we have to bounce off of these key moving averages. So the contracts are 820 by 840 at the moment. And once again, when we look at the Google three minute chart, we must see that the three minute chart is going to confirm a, a bottom. In order for us to stay here at our entries at the lows of the day is that if we do not do that, then we have to sell again and make the next market, and we will. And let's examine the bottom here. Let's examine the shorter term bottom here. This is where, now. now listen, now listen. this is where we have to pop at this bottom. If we don't pop and keep going, this is where this big bar, that was a huge teeny sell off right here. And we couldn't hold this, so we took, we got out of the market and we got in down toward the low. The same rule is going to apply here. Uh, this bottom has got to hold at the, we got to have some teeny expansion. So far, we got about a teeny, almost two teenies. 
But the thing about it is, we will sell out if this thing does not start knife hooking. So I will tell Brian Plain once again, 820 by 840, you need to throw them out at 820. And we'll have to get back below the market. We're not bouncing. And we'll come out. And oh. the reason why is because put the bid out there at 770 because this bottom is not confirmed and we'll revisit it. 